Hey guys, T Riz here with another Rocket League Sideswipe video. So today I'm going to do a deep dive into the mechanics of Rocket League Sideswipe. At the beginning I thought that they were just very basic mechanics, you know, just jump, flip, boost and all that. But as I went deeper into the game, I saw that every single time when you hit the ball, it came up with a different colour. And that colour actually represents what's actually happening when you're hitting the ball, how powerful you're hitting it, and the direction that you and your car are going. So let's jump right into it. Um, I also want to give a huge shout out to Hamatoes. He did a big Reddit post on all the different mechanics in there. Hamatoes was one of the first Rocket League side swipers to become Grand Champion. So I'll put a link in the description, which will take you to what he has written up. I'm going to refer to that directly and then try out these mechanics that he is talking about. So let's jump straight into it. So the first base mechanic is just jump. So by either hitting the X button on your controller or tapping the jump button on the bottom right hand screen, you can jump there. So the next mechanic is the flip or the double jump. So right now I'll be aiming in this direction and I'll flip forwards. And this direction I'll flip forwards. So using the joystick you have a full 360 degree motion so you can go any way you want, and then you can use that flip there. The other thing with Rocket League Sideswipe is you have an unlimited time to use your second flip. So you jump off, and then you can use your flip at any point you want. So, And then the other thing is you can do a double jump just um, by jumping in the air. It's called a neutral double jump, So, and you can go fairly high with that. So the next base mechanic is just hitting the ball. Um, it's called a critical hit, so it's just timing the, the flip so that when you hit the ball, it goes red. So that's a normal hit. I have no flip there, I already used it twice. There we go, that's a critical hit right there. See how I timed that where I flipped too early and it just went to a clear colour. But hitting it hard at the right time makes it a critical hit or a red shot. So those were the three base mechanics of Rocket League. Now let's go into the mid-level mechanics. Probably the most important mechanic in Rocket League Sideswipe is the flip reset. Mastering this will help you outplay any of your opponents. And some of you who have already played it may have noticed that you're accidentally getting some. So let's go through on how this happens. So we'll use both our jumps. And see by landing on the ball with all four tyres, you end up getting that visual cue which actually says if you have your flip reset. There we go. So the good thing about Rocket League Sideswipe is having that visual cue of when you actually achieve a flip reset, it allows you to know that you can use it for the second time. And then the other thing with Rocket League Sideswipe is it is much more lenient on getting all four tires on the car. Um, I've tested this out. Sometimes you can just get one, one tire on, and then it's usually enough. But yeah, mastering the flip reset in Rocket League Sideswipe, I guarantee you, is the way to be able to beat those mid-tier opponents and make you excel and get into the higher ranks. So with the flip reset, the other mechanic is obviously getting uh, resets off ceilings. So now we can actually go onto the ceiling and then we get another flip. So let's do it again. We'll use both flips, go up to the ceiling. There we go. And with that mechanic, you can actually use it to wave dash your way back and you regain boost as well. Since Rocket League doesn't have boost in the corners, you, re you regain boost as soon as your tires hit a surface. So all I do to do this is just spam jump into the direction of the floor and then that essentially makes me go and stick to that surface. So even though the ceiling is trying to pull me down, spamming jump is enough to keep me up. All right, so there's some mid-tier mechanics and let's go into advanced mechanics. So a dodge shot or a purple shot. So now onto the advanced mechanics, we've got the dodge shot. So this is an entirely new mechanic in the Rocket League universe and it can make the ball go very, very powerful, but it does push your car backwards. So it puts you out of position. So essentially what you're doing in this mechanic is you're trying to get the underside of your car, so where the tyres are, to land on the ball. And then you want to do um, a stall. So remember how we were talking about the neutral jump? So X, X, and that's not putting anything in any direction. 
So now if we go onto the ball and we do one jump, if we hit X or jump at the time when we have all of those tires on the car, we get a purple hit and it makes the ball really powerful. So let's see if we can get some clips of the ball in the air so I can show you how that looks when you're doing it as a shot. There we go. Look at how powerful it can make the ball go into a direction. So it would be very surprising for an opponent who doesn't know about this mechanic um, that you can actually hit the ball like that. There we go. Look at how fast that went. That's absolutely crazy. Look at that. You could actually use that in defense as well to dribble it out and then get it over the top of someone. Oh, so close. It was too high that time. Wow. Let's keep going. I want to get a goal on this one. There we go, the little bounce shot. So with a fair bit of practice, you can actually figure out what you're doing. So that's just doing a neutral jump on the ball. Look at that, you can get so much power on that. Like, There we go, as you can see, no direction has been put in. Let's do some more. Look at this. You can actually bounce dribble it like a basketball. So there you go. That could be very good for hoops as well in the game. All right, let's go on to the last advanced mechanic, and that is the jump shot or the gold shot. So similar to the purple shot is the gold shot. And this one, you're actually facing away from the ball as you're hitting it with the back side of your car. Um, you don't need to neutral jump like before. You end up just hitting the ball on the back side of your car and then it goes gold, it is much safer because it puts you in a safer position. So say if you're attacking here and you were to flip backwards, you would be in a safer position. So, And the other thing with the gold shot, it's not as powerful as the purple shot. As you can see, it's not going as hard and uh, fast as the purple shot, uh, but the gold shot is much safer. There we go. Look at that. And if that was blocked, I'm in the right position to save it. So. All right, and even today, um, I've been learning a lot about these mechanics and it's only taken me about half an hour to learn all these mechanics. And Sideswipe does have a lot of leeway with the controls because it is a mobile game. The Ultra Jump, so this is the main mechanic and um, I don't know if there's a way that this is gonna be viable in the game. I've never actually tried it before, so this will be the first time. So if you stand still and neutral jump, then neutral jump again at the exact same moment you land, you will jump extremely high. Oh, wow, okay, okay, so here it is. This is a neutral jump. As you can see, I'm almost hitting the roof, so, and it's about timing. So as soon as you land, you jump, and then you do it again. So I've lost it there. Move ball, please. <laughs> oh, I hit the roof. I did it. <laughs> wow. So you can actually hit the roof just by double jumping on the spot. That's definitely a meme mechanic. You could use this to your advantage, say, if you come down from the roof and you need to get back up really quickly. But I don't see how it's gonna be viable in lots and lots of situations. So there's some of the mechanics, especially um, the advanced mechanics with the, um, with the gold shot and the purple shot, that they're gonna be really good in the game. So thank you for watching. And if you really like the Rocket League size white content, give me a sub. I appreciate it an absolute ton. It helps me out heaps. And I'll catch you all next time. All right, thanks everyone.